I've stepped out the door. I'm on my way to see Jennifer Gardner in Peppermint tonight. I don't have the slightest idea what to expect from this movie, but all I really want out of this movie is just some awesome kick butt action. I just want to sit back and be entertained by some kick butt action. If I get that, I'll be happy. Are we going to get it? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Durbania, I'm Durbin, and this is my spoiler-free review for Peppermint. Now, before we jump into Peppermint, I just want to say a huge thank you to Jeremy Hobbs. He is a brand new patron of mine on Patreon. He just jumped on board today at the level of citizen as Dur as. <laughs> Oh man, I need more coffee. He jumped on as a citizen of Durbania. So that level of giving means he can give me a movie to review that I haven't reviewed on this channel and a movie that he wants me to do a theological analysis on. So in the very near future, look for those two videos coming from me and I wanna say a huge thank you to you, Jeremy. It means so much that you jumped on. Thank you for becoming a patron of Durbania. I appreciate it more than you know. So, let's talk about this movie, Peppermint. Five years ago, Riley North just disappeared. Completely off the grid. So she spends the last five years doing what? Training. It was good. That's about all I have to say about it. I don't know that it's big screen worthy. It's not a bad movie, and I was entertained. I was. It was an entertaining movie, and I was entertained beginning to end. I thought, you know, the action was awesome, and it did what this genre movie needs to do. The bad guys are bad guys, and they're really, really bad. So when Jennifer Gardner's out there, she's killing them, it's kind of, you know, it's like, yeah, they're horrible human beings, and they've done horrible things. I mean, come on. They killed her family over a stupid mistake from her husband who was backing out because he wanted nothing to do with that stuff. And so, boom, whole family dead. Now she's left in all kinds of pain and now she comes back five years later to get her vengeance on this entire thing and pull down that entire operation from its roots. Now, this is kind of a genre of movie here and I feel like the kings of this genre are Equalizer, and John Wick. I mean, Danzel Washington and Keanu Reeves are the kings of this genre. It, it's going to be so hard in my mind for any movie to beat those. I mean, Danzel Washington has got this calm and coolness with his character that he brings to that. And, and you got John Wick. There's no words for John Wick. Oh my gosh. I love those movies and I cannot wait for John Wick Chapter 3. This movie doesn't even touch Equalizer and John Wick. In, in my opinion, it just does not go there. It, it felt, it just felt kind of average. It felt kind of shallow. Like, again, the action was good, and it's like there was nothing wrong with the cast. Jennifer Gardner did a fantastic job. But it just, it, it lacked a certain overall charisma. Not that any of the actors lacked a certain charisma, but the film itself. John Wick kind of has a charisma to it, a character to it. And so does Equalizer. And I feel like that's what this movie lacked. And that's why it doesn't quite get there. Now, it's funny because, you know, when her family dies and stuff like that, my wife leaned over to me and she goes, It's like the Punisher! I'm so proud of her becoming such a nerd. But it just didn't reach like that level that I wanted to see. Like it just, I mean, it was good. I was entertained, but here's how I'd rather seen this movie as a Netflix original movie. And then it just would have had a different quality to it to me. And I would have enjoyed it a lot more because it's like, yeah, it just didn't feel like a big screen worthy movie. Now, if you're looking for something this weekend and you don't want to see The Nun or you've already seen The Nun and you can't think of anything else to see, you will be entertained. I really do. If you like John Wick and if you like Equalizer and you like those type of movies, you will be entertained with this movie. I don't think you'll be walking out like, I love it and quoting it and things like that. Like, I just don't think it's that type of movie. I think you'll be entertained. You won't be regretting the fact that you bought a ticket, but you'll be like, yeah, yeah, I don't really need to see it again. That's kind of where I'm at. I don't really need to own it. I don't really need to see it again. And I would have been more happier to have seen that as a Netflix original than on the big screen. So I'm giving this film a C plus. 
So what did you think of this movie? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button to become a Durbanian. Hit the bell by the subscribe button so you're notified for the very next movie review I do, theological analysis, ranking video, or anything else here I do. I want to say another huge thank you to Jeremy Hobbs. Thank you so much, man. I greatly appreciate the fact that you jumped on board to support Durbania financially. That just, that blows my mind and it's just awesome. Thank you so much for joining my Patreon team and becoming a citizen of Durbania. I appreciate it, man, more than you know. So if you want to check out my Patreon, I do have the link to that in my description. I'm Durbin. Thanks for checking out Durbania.